everyone. Welcome to the 34th tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to Revit. In this video, we will be tackling cameras. Now, here in the 3D view button, you will notice an arrow pointing down, meaning there's plenty of options for us to use. Now, simply click this one and we've got the 3D view, camera, and walkthrough. For now, we will be doing camera. Click this one and try to use it within 3D first. So, let's click somewhere here, and you'll notice it's projecting a cone-like field of vision, or rather field of view, for us, showing the limits of the camera itself. Now, you can do like this as you will. Now, let's give it a try and drag and drop somewhere like this. There. See how it automatically projects or makes the image of the screenshot for the camera for us. It doesn't look like much, but... In this perspective, if I change this to fine and to consistent color at least, you will notice that the camera projected an image from the bottom of the landscape itself. If I were to go to 3D, let's see if it's projecting somewhere like this, right? That's because we did not specify an offset for the camera itself. Now, to rectify that issue, Let's try and open a layout or a floor plan view in whichever model that you're using. I'm going to go with main level floor plan. Now, just zoom into wherever you want. I'm going to go with somewhere here that looks like a, an overlooking view. Obviously, here is the interior and here is the outdoor area of my drawing. Now, let's give it a try once more. Back here, camera. Now, its default is this one, so let's try and use this first and aim somewhere like this. Okay, now let's give it a try once more, but let's make this fine and consistent. Okay, go back into, a, let's go back to our ground floor again. Camera, let's make this to 11. There. Now, we have a very high offset compared to the generic one that it's using. So click somewhere here again, there. Now you see the difference from this one and that one. We've, we are able to control the height of the model, or rather the screenshot, depending on the offset that we've placed. Right, now, of course, we have a crop view here that we can play around with as well. Simply drag the extent like this in case you want to increase the size of the image, there. Of course, we're also more than capable of rendering this by going to view and here. But again, this will be for another tutorial. For now, I'm just showing you that this camera that we did is capable of rendering. So let's close that for now and go back to the ground floor view. Okay, so let's remove this, this, and this. Now, to find out where the camera screenshot goes. Let's do everything here. If you remember, if we click this, it automatically opens a 3D view for us, right? Wherever this the same place goes, that's where the camera appears. So it should be somewhere in the 3D view default, and it's this one right here. Now, if I were to click this and do another camera, you will notice that 3D view 4 will appear here automatically as default. Now let's give it a try here. There. And that's where it makes its sc screenshot. Now let's give it a try in the interior side, like so. And let's see what's going to look like. Let's start from here. There. Looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Now, if I were to put this to fine and consistent color, you will notice the difference. Or let's make it realistic instead. Okay. Now... Also, one quick tip in Revit, if I were to remove the crop view, I can actually control the camera itself, but of course, be careful in doing that because you might go out of boundaries like this if done by mistake or doing a zoom extend. But with this option, it's kind of like controlling the animation of the camera itself so you can properly control where you want to aim the screenshot at itself. So let's say, I want to use this part right here. All right. When you're satisfied with this view, let's just take everything again. 
and do a zoom extend like so. Notice how that part over there is darkened. That's because of its far clip offset. So if I were to make this 40, let's see what's going to happen and click apply. There. Notice how the view range extends, right? So let's make this to 100 now and reapply. There we go. We can see everything, right? Okay, that's it for this video. Um, if you like what you see and find this interesting or even helpful, please do support me by liking and subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.